Dr. Dennis Becker is a speech specialist, professor, author, and storyteller. Hi again. Last time we met, I shared with you a very personal and intimate story that meant a lot to me, and I hope by sharing it, it helped some of you. Anyway, this time, I'd like to share something different. Different style, different feeling, but very real and very personal. Many years ago, I had a, uh, I was a host of a talk show, syndicated talk show. It was live, we had people come in and they were guests and uh, we'd ask them about their subject of expertise and we had call in and that sort of thing. So I'd done a lot of this over the years and I was very comfortable with it. There was one time in particular that stands out to me that I had only one experience in all of the years I've been in the media. <laughs> Here it is. I was doing an eight o'clock talk show and uh, we had live guests and the guests would come in and of course we'd have them take calls and it was an expert, a scientist of some kind, a book author or some other, some person in the news that we thought would be interesting for our listeners to know about. So I invited a guy in who was a professor who had written a book on numerology. Now, you know, if you don't know what it is, you're about to find out, but at any rate, numerology was popular-ish. People kind of knew about it, what was it, and then this book was sort of interesting, so I invited him in. So fine, we set the time and the date, and I let him know that, uh, you know, he'd be uh, taking questions on the air. I do some interviewing. We shared a couple of thoughts about what the questions would be, and that he would take questions from the listeners who would call in. Okay, he was fine with that. All right, so we set the time and the date and so forth, and we were ready to go. So we were go live at eight o'clock. So 7.30 or so, I'm in there getting ready for the show. And uh, look around, I notice he's not here yet. Okay, fine, not a big deal. So we'll continue just getting ready. And 7.45, I'll look around, not here yet. It's okay, not unusual. Folks come in, they have a hard time finding the studio and stuff like that. He'll come in. All right, so 7.50, I look around again. He's still not here, all right. I'm still not too panicked yet because the guests often come in late. So 7.55 and now he's still not here. I'm a little bit concerned because, you know, I wanted to talk to him a little bit before we go on the air. But okay, we're fine. 7.56, We go on live at 7.59, at 8 o'clock, he's not there. But I still wasn't really panicked because the beginning of our show had five minutes of news. So I knew I had another five minutes for him to show up. So I had to start the show and we went on live and, you know, good evening everybody and welcome again to the program. And tonight we have a special guest with us. And I introduced the guy and talked about him. And then we went to five minutes of the news. And I figured, okay, he'll walk in, you know, any minute he'll come walking in. And I'm looking around and he's still not here. So I thought, geez, what, you know, what am I going to do if I, maybe I can play a replay of another show that we have, perhaps. What would you have done? If I could ask you that question, you could answer me. I'd love to know, what would you have done at this point? We're in the news. We've got probably another three minutes for me to go on live with the guest, and he's not there. I'm actually still thinking he might still arrive the last minute. It has happened before, but he's not there. So what could we do? We're on a rerun make an apology, have live call-ins, what would we do? All right, 7.05 comes, he's still not there. 8.05 rather, he's still not there. So what do we do? Now what would you do if you were in my position? What would you have done? Here's what I did. Thanks again for coming back, folks. We're glad you're with us tonight. Tonight, a very special guest, Dr. Yuri Yuriyatin, has written a new book on numerology. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the program, we're going to be talking about numerology today, what it is and how it works and how it affects you. And uh, the book is very interesting. So I'd, I asked Dr. Yuriyatin to come in to talk with us and take your questions, and I'll have a few questions of my own. And then you'll have some, and we'll have a chance to learn together. What all, what's this about numerology? So, and I'm waiting, maybe he's still gonna walk in the door. 
but he didn't walk in. So, now remember, this was radio. We are on the radio now, and it's a live talk show. So, I asked him the first question, wondering if the door would open and he'd swiftly jump into the chair, but no. So I asked the question, here's what happened. So Dr. Yuri Atten, tell us about numerology. It's something that we've all heard about and something that maybe we know a little bit about, but not too much. What is numerology and how does it work? Well, I'm very happy that you asked me that name and then that number. I'm here today to, to talk to you about my new book on numerology. It is a very strange thing that we have going into society today. What? What? <laughs> That's right. I did. I did my voice and his voice all at the same time, more or less. Because you know, when you have a conversation, when you talk, you pause, the other person talks, and then you talk again. In between, you have a chance to breathe and think of the next question, and maybe swallow or do whatever. But I didn't have that time. It was one question after the other, and it was me and, oh my gosh. Went through an hour of this, got home, talked to my wife, and she said, what did you do? What happened there? I told her, of course, then the phone rang. It was my cousin Michael calling me from Florida, and I'm in Boston doing the show. He said, I know what you did. I know you. I knew he busted me. Right. So that's how I solved it. I never did hear from Dr. Yuri Adden. I called him. He never called me back. I had a few choice words for him, but he couldn't do those on the air anyway. But at any rate, I never had a chance to talk to him again. I shared it with you, and now you know the rest of this story. Thank you so much, Dennis, and thank you for staying with us for this episode of Local Matters. From all of us at PAC TV, have a happy and safe week. We will see you next time. Thank you for watching. We are grateful for your attention. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe to the local scene here and share everywhere. Thank you, friends.